HTTV in association with Absolute Warehouse Services punch a frustrating result. Yeah, definitely. Um, start sort of not been good for us, you know, but I thought we responded well. And I think after that, I think everyone can see there was only really one team in it. How much harder did that start make it for us? Definitely. I think what you always know, especially in the Premier League, to go behind that quick is always an uphill task, you know, but I thought the boys responded well. Um, you know, I thought it was completely different, more so in the second half. Keepers pulled off a worldly save from catcher, you know. Um, but again, got to forget about it, move on and get to the next one. It's frustrating, isn't it? Because we created a lot of good chances in the second half. We stuck to the game plan. We showed how the side is developing under Jan Sievert. <laughs> yeah, definitely, you know. I think um, the gaffer, his message is clear in terms of runners in behind, and I thought. Obviously, the situation with the, the red card typified that, you know, it's a great ball by Baki and Diaz running behind at the right time. Um, and then Moises hit a good free kick, keepers pulled off another save. Um, we just got to keep going. What did he say to you after the game? Was he pleased with the performance? Yeah, definitely. You know, I think anyone looking from the outside can always say that they're pleased. Um, but naturally, he knows that the start sort of didn't help. But we responded well, enough, I suppose, sometimes in football, that's the only thing you can do is keep going, don't give in, you know, don't worry about everything else that's going on around you and we're fighting as a team and keep pushing as a team. He's obviously been in charge for just over a week. How hard is it to adapt to a new style of play when a new manager comes in? Yeah, it's always different. Um, every manager's got their different way um, of what they want to do. But, you know, the manager's obviously intelligent. He's not asking us to do things that we can't envisage or see. You know, I thought everyone tried to carry that out to a little bit of tea today. And obviously Chelsea, big game coming up next. It's a short turnaround, but again, the time on the training ground will pay dividends. Yeah, definitely short turnaround. But you know, the Premier League's relentless. You know, we've got to go again. You know, I think everybody knows on any given day you can beat anyone. So it's another Premier League game to try and get three points. I think immediately the fans will have seen that you're a leader on the pitch and a leader in the dressing room as well. How important is that character at times like this? Um, I just try to be punch you know everyone says that I'm a lead and positive I always try to do that on on and off the pitch you know but I think that's going to be important and I think we're going to need 11 leaders you know seven leaders on the bench you know and people that are not involved we're all going to have to pull together ourselves and all be leaders in our own ways you know and I thought for large parts of that game we was you know but we just didn't get the rubber of the green today. There's positives that we can take but a massive thing now I'd imagine is a bit of confidence restoring the happiness within the group. Yeah, definitely. I think today people can leave. You know, if you analyse the game properly, obviously we're going to be disappointed because we didn't get three points. You know, but I think the big bulk of it, people can leave there with lots of positives.